Right, here we are, back on ETS2, and we are still using Wombat Trucker's uh, big global combo map. Um, we've got a trip uh, today, which is from Oban to somewhere in Iceland that I cannot pronounce. So it's not all that long a journey, but um, part of the reason we're doing this trip is that this part of the map is on the Pro Mods part of the map and uh, we are going to be testing a couple of the graphics mods working together and information on this is in the video description it's actually uh, Wombat's guidance that I use to set up the Naturalox uh, graphics mod along with Grimes uh, new summer mod uh, we'll have a quick look uh, in the mod manager and uh, if we go down we can see all the um, uh, maps that we've got installed that's not the important part the important part is that this Naturalox graphics mod is in beta at the moment I don't know whether it's eventually going to be something you have to pay for I would imagine it may well be um, but for testing purposes it's in open beta at the moment now that's the pro mods map that's installed in amongst all these combinations that we have um, if we go further up we can see the naturalox mod and uh, now where did i put the new summer one i can't remember must be at the top aye there it is up there um, the Naturalox mod is quite a big mod, so you've got all of these parts. Now, some of them are optional extras, which again, um, there is a Pro Mods uh, compatibility file that goes along with it as well. And there's also a file in here, which is a, a, an add on Sounds Fix pack. Now, that Sounds Fix pack uh, goes with the sound fixes pack that you can get off steam uh, as long as you subscribe to it but it is on a lot of the download sites as well and this is the latest version and this all is enable uh, or oh, uh, is a way to actually enhance your game the new summer uh, graphics mod enhances the vegetation and a lot of other things the other thing i've also got installed is the realist, uh, realistic rain file as well as the realistic uh, rain and thunder sounds um, and they all work in compatibility with one another along with this Naturalox graphics mod so we're going to have a look around um, in this trip from Oban to Iceland and we'll see what benefits we can get from it uh, and how good the game looks. I think at the moment it's at night when we're about to start this, so we'll come out the um, mod manager and we'll go into the profile. I've got my trusty old Volvo truck that I've used in ETS for years and back on it. Uh, I have the Zill uh, wheels installed on my truck. And this is the sort of screensavers that pop up when you're starting the game. And I mean, there's some very nice sky boxes, but uh, the other thing is that when you use this, uh, this um, realistic rain and thunder sounds uh, mod, it really does enhance the game. Although you might not get an awful lot of evidence on this trip because uh, it just depends. It just depends on whether we do get some rain and whether we do get a, th a thunderstorm. Uh, we can't guarantee that, but I've got the likelihood of rain set higher in the game. I always used to leave it on default, but I've got it slightly higher so we can get a better opportunity of possibly getting some rain. So uh, we are, well, lo and behold, we're in Oban, so we're going to be shipping mackerel up to Iceland. So that's a bit like selling out, uh, sand to the Arabs. So that's the name of the place we're going to in Iceland. But let's have a look at the map. Um, because this is going to be a scenic trip. Uh, definitely. We're going from Oban and we're heading north. Uh, and we're going up to Thurzo. 
which I believe is where we're going to get the ferry uh, from Thurso and that will then take us to um, the Faroe Isles and uh, we get off the ferry and we nip round the corner onto another ferry that's going to take us to the east coast of Iceland and then from there we've got a trip across the northern part of Iceland which will have snow um, and we're eventually going up to the northwest part of Iceland, the way up there. So it's going to take a little while because um, speed isn't necessarily of the essence, but uh, we might get we might get distracted, we might get detoured. I don't know. It's only fifteen hundred miles, and most of that is going to be over the sea by ferry. So um, let's get my wheel set up now. Again, I keep mentioning this. My Logitech driving sto uh, driving force steering wheel is has been beginning to show signs of wear and tear and as if some of the buttons aren't working properly um, and also now my gear stick is not reliable it's not reliable for changing gear it's jumping up to the the top gear sometimes so we're driving an automatic for that reason uh, oh the other thing is my paint job is I think these uh, I can't remember um, uh, it's definitely um, it's one of the uh, DLC uh, paint jobs that we have and I think this is these Norse paint jobs with some of the Norse gods on it as well I think that I can't remember I think that's what it is so we'll get the wheel set up just need to drag that across and we are almost ready to go and are you ready for the best backseat drivers you've ever had? Yep, let's get this show on the road. Right, so let's just get the wheel set. And we've got the top gear guys doing the guidance. Right. Turn right. Turn right. So it's 7.23 in, in the morning. 200 metres, turn left. Turn left. In 200 metres, turn right. Turn right. What you will notice, or what I have certainly noticed, is uh, the big improvements to the audio, especially with the traffic um, that either overtakes you or is passing you in the opposite direction. You notice a big difference in that, uh, and it makes a, it makes a great enhancement to the the game audio. Um, but as I say, that is in conjunction with the other mods that are installed, so you've got to be careful with that. So. Click that link in the video and that will take you to Wombat's uh, guide about enhancing your game. Now,
Let's try to find our way out of Oban. Right, well, a little stop here on the bridge here just to block the traffic. And you'll notice the difference in the water. Uh, let's have a, a look. The water effects are different for a start. And you'll see how you've got a watery sun with all these different sky boxes with the, the new summer graphics as well as the realistic rain etc. It does change a lot of the things in the in the sky boxes. As well as um, enhancement to the vegetation and everything. You won't see that as much here because that's rocks but uh, when there's a lot of foliage uh, and depending also on what map you're on, uh, it will make a difference. I mean, I was driving on uh, the uh, Russian Open Spaces map, and to be honest with you, it doesn't do a great deal of difference on that map, because it's mostly just trees. There's not an awful lot of variance in vegetation in it. The other thing I've noticed as well, that... Um, because this map combination has so many maps in it, I have noticed that the um, the frame drops that sometimes happen uh, vary depending on the map. The Pro Mods map seems pretty stable, uh, as does the EA Brazil map. But on certain parts of the the map combo, there are slight differences. I think it's mostly actually map errors. I think. Uh, that cause a lag. Uh, I'm not an expert on, on the errors in maps, but it seems to happen a bit more on certain maps than others. Somebody could maybe correct me on that. But on this one, everything seems to run fairly smooth. There might be the occasional drop, but um, it's running very nicely. The latest uh, map that we have installed is one that came out a couple of weeks ago, which is the Middle East map, which is an official add-on from the ProMods website, and it's already installed in this one as well. the bridge that we just came over. I'm 
you're heading right. At the roundabout, take the second exit. It's a bridge we just came over, it's not. <laughs> it's another bridge. That shows you how often I've driven up this part of the world. I thought we were doing a U-turn under that first bridge we went across. Notice when uh, these vehicles are passing, I can hear it all in my right ear. It does improve the audio. Take the first exit. Exit. My assumption is that that is Loch Ness on the right because I've been up this way before uh, in real life and uh, this road goes alongside Loch Ness and takes you right up to Inverness.
I don't know whether the uh, mo uh, mod makers in uh, Pro Mods actually put put the Loch Ness monster in there. I've never looked. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. this sort of misty effect you'll notice across the water as well In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. You'll also notice in that in 200 meters, turn left. Part of the uh, Naturalox mod uh, uh, it changes the symbols, the floating symbols within the turn game as well. Left. So all the floating symbols in the game have changed. Second exit. At the roundabout, take the first exit. I've got uh, Jazzy Cat's uh, trailers mod installed as well as uh, exit. military cargo pack installed as well. So you'll see an awful lot of different uh, truck companies on the, the sides of the trucks that we pass.
I could just hit that car. I was too busy looking at the water. <laughs> Even the noise of the collision sounded a lot more impressive. <laughs> at the roundabout, take the second exit. And of course, in case you didn't already realise, I have the um, exit. The Grand Tour uh, team as my uh, GPS tactical team. James may give me the directions. And the clouds seem to be disappearing. Should have done it just back there, but we'll get another opportunity hopefully. As far as we've gone in this trip so far, I don't think we've dropped a frame at all yet. Just check something. I think I dropped my brightness setting. Um, I think that's what I did. Let me have a look. Uh, where are we? Graphics. Uh, switched off the HDR. No brightnesses. Brightnesses. I, I thought I changed it. I was messing about with it when I first installed it to have a look at the the graphics. Just double checking everything's okay.
and this will do nicely. Now you can see that the uh, floating symbols have changed. That's your fuel symbol there. And when we're getting fuel here, you can hear that traffic going past, as you should do. But in a normal default um, Euro Truck game, I don't think you generally hear any traffic at all, or, or it's very poor. Two hundred meters, turn left. This is a road to Thurzo. Turn left. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. 
Oh, the local constabulary letting us through. Very kind of you, sir. And there's our ferry. Is this the one I always get wrong when I'm trying to get into the bloody ferry? I think it is. Now, I can never remember. I think we go in that way. Always end up going round behind that building. Right, let's go in here. I think this is the right way. This is Thurso. And somewhere up there are the Faroe Isles. And somewhere over there is Iceland. That's where we're headed. And then you'll see the new floating symbol for Perry's Right, so uh, Stromness is in the Orkneys We're not going there uh, We are going up to Torshan or whatever the hell you pronounce that one doesn't look too good up here. Now, how do we get out of this place? Now, you can hear straight away. If I just switch the engine off, come off the ferry. You can hear that rain bouncing off the cab. So these are all the enhanced rain effects you get with a realistic rain and of course the other one we would get if this turns into a thunderstorm you will certainly notice that we've got thunder now i can't see where we get out of here this gate open up here i'm assuming it does because I don't see any other way out. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's there, it's to the right. Of course, we're on the right-hand side of the road now. Now, what does that say? Torshon and whatever that name is. Right. It's only a short trip through the town. In 200 meters, turn right. Till we get to the other ferry. Turn right.
And another thing I, I've mentioned before as well, if you ever uh, look at uh, Wombat's uh, YouTube channel, and you'll see, I think we're on version 6 of the global uh, map, the Pro Mods global map, and this is the one I'm on. Uh, having driven a wee bit of it, there are at least two or three places on it where the game will crash. Um, and that's a definite. Uh, one of them I discovered in Scandinavia where the game will crash. And the other one is in, in the border uh, at Turkey. The game crashes there as well. But I suppose with all those map combinations installed, there's bound to be glitches somewhere. And it's just a matter of driving the maps to actually discover them. So I've discovered a few of them. But you can easily live with them. All I do is, is just uh, spawn the truck past, past the problem and just carry on. Right. So it's 1.23 in the morning. Oh, there's a ferry coming in or coming out. And your actual high beam headlights, uh, they seem to behave slightly differently with this mod as well. So at this time of year, this is like the land of the midnight sun. It doesn't generally go to total darkness. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Now, why am I being told to go back? Have I missed a turn? I must have missed a turn. Too busy bloody talking. <laughs> sort of yeah, it's telling me to go back the way I came. I missed a bloody ferry. It never ceases to amaze me how many times I caught things up. I'm so busy just looking at the landscape and the, the graphics, I'm not looking at where I should be bloody well going. <laughs> I did say we would maybe take the odd diversion, or we might be delayed looking at various things. Maybe that maybe that's what the sound of the ferry was. Maybe we'll maybe the ferry's left. Now where the hell do I go? I did say the next ferry was just around the corner. Well I went around the corner and well beyond it. where we should have went, in there. Now the question is, is where is the... Uh oh yeah, we've got to get to the right, that's what it is. It's a tight squeeze, this one.
Now we're going to that third one on the list there, I think. That's where we're going. So we'll be in Iceland and then we've got the drive across country. This is a land of small roundabouts, I call it, not the land of fire and ice. Thirty. Now it's unlikely that we're going to get any or very much rain up here. You've got delineators at the either side of the road for uh, for when the heavy snow comes in, so that you can see where the road is. That's a yellow delineator there, and there's another one there. Two hundred meters, turn right. We wouldn't 
recommend speeding. But you didn't expect to hear that from us. You're welcome. Turn right. Continue straight. Grid. Snowbanks at the side of the road. If you dripped in, you get bouncing off the road.
should mind your speed. Cattle grid. Caution, mind your speed. Top her up again and I'll have a quick drink while we're here. So it's uh, ten to nine at night. Get the lid back on my bottle, I'll get on with it. Right. Quick look outside.
In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Some of the locals out for a stroll. I was looking to see if it said anything about mackerel on the side of a trailer. Never noticed anything. That is a fairly tight squeeze going past there. meters turn left turn left See the other difference how the headlights of the car light up the tunnel on the tunnel walls. You can see that in that car ahead of us there. And now we've got a, a beautiful sunset. sun
make it nice and easy. difficult to see the road. Speeding? You didn't expect to hear that from us. You're welcome. Continue straight. silhouetted with the sun sinking in the background and an orangey red sky with a hint of yellow in it as well well I think we got a little frame drop there Of course I've got my beacons on, that might affect it as well. I've got them floating, now the sky has changed completely. That sun, that sun has gone. And now the mountains are in the background there, but you can still see that light coming through the clouds. to look for a resting place at some point. We've got about three hours to go driving time. And I think this is about as dark as it gets. It's just gone, uh, we're just gone past midnight. Raining. Well, there's a novelty. I'd love this to turn into a thunderstorm so we can hear it. That the In visibility changes. Turn right. Visibility changes as well with this mod. It doesn't just rain, you know, it gets misty. Turn right. And I'm not talking about the natural uh, natural ox mod, I'm talking about that in conjunction with the realistic rain.
men speeding. Didn't expect to hear that from us. Continue straight. moment it just looks as if it's just going to be steady rain for a little while it doesn't seem to be becoming any more substantial because the rain does get more substantial and then you'll get the thunder and lightning as well you see the droplets of rain running down the glass Take the second exit. Continue straight.
the rain does stop when you go into tunnels. There's a resting place up ahead. I hope it's not this bloody hotel. I hate it. I can't remember whether it is or it isn't. there because the truck was sliding. Caution, mind your speed. Now, let's check something here. Uh, well, <sighs> that has come at the right time. Now, where the hell is the parking place though? As it's this bloody hotel. Yeah. For some reason, I don't like this place as a parking place. It's awkward to get into. I mean, it's just, it's tight. Even, even worse trying to get out of it. And there's a parking spot there somewhere. Well, that will do. So we should be back into some sort of daylight. There we are. Didn't make the corner. <laughs> right, we'll still need our way out. Well, we don't need the wiper. You notice there's still some water in the screen. It's a long run in now. Still got that streak of water down the windscreen and there's probably still some spots in the side windows as well.
Marco on the ice. So your traction does change on this part of the map when you run over this sort of slushy icy parts of the, the map. And then you get the acceleration when you hit the, the asphalt. This is really a very beautiful part of the Pro Mods map, the work that they've done in Iceland. It is a great place to come up to drive on. Beautiful landscapes and that feeling of uh, isolation that you get.
In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Mind your speed. Yeah, that's the name of this place.
At the roundabout, take the second exit. Exit. I'm just going to have a quick drink. I need a little drink. Ah, uh, that's better. That's much better. Right, hang on a sec. In fact, I know what we'll do. Uh, quick look at the map and see where we are. Well, we're there. And we've got a, quite a few squiggly bits to go, if you want to use the technical description, before we get to the place that we're going to, whatever it's called. Right. Let's get to it. Plenty of time to get this done. A full day yet. And we've got what, 200 odd, 260 is it? Something like that. So we've no problem with time. back on that is actually ice that we're driving on again and that's why we then we then begin to lose the acceleration you don't have the same uh, traction on this surface as you do on the uh, normal asphalt you can definitely feel it cattle grid Again, was it? Oh, we've got a we've got a problem here, folks. Oh, I think we've had a bit of a disaster here. What's happening? No, it's actually roadworks, but something's burning.
already you can see the lights changing again and late in the afternoon In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. now in the dirt road Men speeding. You didn't expect to hear that from us. takes you and then he slows to a dead stop.
mind you speak. a little bit bumpy Right down on the seashore now. Shit, wasn't expecting that in the middle of the road. In 200 metres, turn right. Turn right. Weather's closing in again. It looks like it. Certainly has closed in. So you've got a bit of late evening sunshine and rain. Please be a thunderstorm.
visibility slipping away. On this ice now, so we're now struggling for traction. Up ahead we've got the snow drift effects on the Pro Mods map. That's what you see drifting across there. So we're driving on this slush so we're, we're struggling to get a gear with this automatic setting. This is pretty wild looking. That's the policeman going up to see why we've stopped. We're admiring the weather. How many truck drivers have been stuck like this? In a blizzard, or drifting snow anyway. That's why you have delineators at the side of the road, so you can actually see where the road's going. We need to watch the braking. That guy's bottled out with the overtake, and we can feel the truck sliding. That's us through the worst of that. I think that's all this rain's going to come to, just 
steady rain for a little while, but nothing developing into a thunderstorm. It's never, it's never guaranteed, of course, but with this realistic rain effect and the realistic thunder uh, sounds, it, it definitely does uh, enhance a thunderstorm. Now, how long have we got to go? We've got 90 miles to go, and we could we we are needing to take a rest stop. I don't know whether there is one be between where uh, where we are now and where we're to stop, but or where we finish the job. But we've got plenty of time to take one. There's one up ahead. I hope it's something decent we can get into. Because that's uh, just gone 10 o'clock at night, or what is it, 11 o'clock at night, or 10 o'clock at night, um, on the Sunday, and we have to be there, uh, when is it, by 8.30 on the Monday night, so this rest stop would actually be very handy if we can find it. It looks as if we've got to take a bit of a detour into it. Now, where the hell is it? It's up this road here, so we'll go in here. It looks like if that's all it is, just a parking place. I don't think I've ever been in here. Uh. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Where the hell are we going? In here. I can't see where the parking spot is. Let's just. Uh, Right, so we go around there. Ah, wait a minute, that's where it is. I think we we're meant to go around here. And then that's your way back out. I think it's in front of this uh, building. No bank again. <sighs> Is that it in there? Well, that will do it. Right, so our last rest stop, and then the last few miles will complete the journey, and we're back into daylight. Continue straight. I'm sure we go out the way we come in. Or is that the way out? Let me have a look. Maybe there's, maybe there's one way in and one way out. Right, hang on. No, that isn't it. Wait a minute. I've lost my bearings here. Right, so that's the road that we came in. Yeah, there's not any, there's not any other way out. 
That's right enough. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn oh. right. Just gotta go out of here without tearing signs down. Can't see if anything's coming or not. Oh, it's a bend, right? So. Another tight squeeze in and out of there. So 8.30 in the morning. And we've got 67 miles to go. So if you have the time and patience, uh, click on that link in the video description and that will take you to a video from Wombat Trucker who's talking about enhancing your game with uh, various realistic mods and out of them all, all the ones that he's got, the Natural Lux one is probably the most important one along with the realistic rain effects if you want to enhance your game a bit more. It certainly does work. It does make it more enjoyable. Um, it's just a wee bit of a fiddle downloading from the Natural Ops website. You've actually to join two different sites to be able to download the uh, Natural, uh, Natural Ops mod as well as the add-ons that are available for it. Like for example, one of the add-ons is a summer add-on not, no, I'm not talking about the uh, uh, the new summer one by Grimes. I'm talking about the summer add-on uh, that's available for um, Natural Ops because this one at the moment that we're using is uh, titled July. Uh, from what Wombat says on his video, they're intended to bring out different uh, mods like each month. So, for example, uh, the weather may well change or the the uh, graphic effects may well change, sorry, depending on what month of the year it is. So I don't know how long this natural ox is going to be in beta, but I would imagine it might it might be a mod that you end up paying for. But I would suggest that even if it is something you pay for, I wouldn't think it'd be that expensive. But it, it's worth it's worth the effort getting installed. It does also tell you uh, on their site what sort of spec PC is recommended to run it on. I would imagine you would need a fairly decent PC to, to get all the benefit of the enhancements from it. back down to sea level. I've got to stop here. I've got to stop here. Hang on. Of course, you've got the effects that have been added by Pro Mods for this. The waves coming onto the shore. Just looking at the views, best pal. 
Now let me see what the side of my truck says. See if it mentions anything about fish. Uh, I don't know what that means. Well, there's a boat, so that's a fishing boat, and that, that's a clue that I've got mackerel on board. And the business was founded in 1885. Right, let's go, let's not keep them waiting any longer. the seagulls. So we started in Oban, we've driven all the way up to Thurso in the north uh, east of Scotland and uh, we got our ferry there. Of course you mind your speed. Took us to the Faroe Isles and then from there we got our next ferry that took us to the east coast of Iceland and from there we've been driving all the way across the north side of Iceland. through the worst of its weather, although it could have been worse, we could have had a thunderstorm, but we didn't unfortunately, but that'll be for some other day. And we've got 13 miles to go. Full beam. It's a very secluded part of the island, right up in the north uh, northwest corner. Yeah, this is a place we're going to. I dare not attempt to pronounce it. Well, 
here we are. Where are we going into this? Now, is this one of these ones where it's confusing to find out where the bloody way in is? Hang on a minute. Is it? Uh, hang on. Ah, there we are. There it's there. Now, that's a problem. Because the way in. Oh, you're kidding me on. Jesus, there must be a simpler way into this place. No, nope, there isn't. There is not a simpler way. <laughs> There's not a simpler way into that place. All right. So, um, I've forgotten where we part. We're in here. How the hell are we going to get into there and be able to reverse in there? So you have to plan ahead here. So if we come in and. Where's that going? That's going nowhere. If we come in... Right, that's the way in there. That must be... Although it doesn't say it's a way out, but that's a, it's an alternative entrance. So this is a way we could come in. And if we come in, we go around there in reverse. That, that's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see if that ever takes shape. This is going to be the longest part of the trip. I've gone, I've turned in too soon, haven't I? Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I've turned in too soon because I'm going to get further on. I'm getting out of the way of the traffic, that's the problem. Destination. Well done. Although, frankly, I did all the hard work. No, we haven't reached our destination. We've still got into the damn place. It helps if we turn in in the right spot. Right, this is definitely the right way now. Oh, that plane just flew overhead. I could hear that coming before I saw the shadow. Right, so the plan was in here, turn left, reverse in, all so simple. And I can't even reverse in third player. Quite tight to that wall.
I think we've failed. Oh no, that'll do. We are in. We're in and we've got there at last. So that was a trip from Oban to Iceland and it was with the enhanced Naturalux graphics mod in combination with the uh, new summer mod as well as the realistic rain and also realistic thunder sounds. And um, it's just a pity we didn't get a thunderstorm, isn't it? Right, we will see you again soon.